It's been a long old winter, and sometimes it can feel like Britain's seasons all blend into one. But actually, there's a lot of different nature out there to be seen, and enter Spring Watch. The BBC's flagship wildlife show has been running since 2005 and returns for a brand new series on 28 May. Hosted by longtime presenters Chris Packham and Michaela Strachan, Spring Watch 2018 will run between 28 May to 31 May on BBC Two at 8 p.m. and feature some things we normally misses, according to Packham. In an interview with Radio Times, the 57-year-old nature lover said, It's not prescriptive, it's always reactive. The opportunity to see stuff you'd never imagine to see in a lifetime of watching by yourself because you couldn't physically be there or be awake for all those hours. He added, We all sigh at the blue tit box every year, but one year, the blue tit was bringing up great tit chicks. That's the wildlife writing a story. Strachan is raring to go too, and can't get enough of the unpredictability of nature. I love the surprises. We usually go with a plan, and it completely changes, you get such interesting stories out of the most standard stuff, she said. However, alongside the announcement of a new raft of episodes comes some disappointment for Spring Watch fans. Earlier in 2018 it was announced that, after 12 years on the production team, co-presenter Martin Hughes Games will not be returning for the new series, over the past few years, Hughes Games has had a rocky relationship with the show. In September 2016 he claimed that he was being axed by the BBC in order to meet diversity targets. The corporation flatly denied the allegations. It was later revealed that his role had been changed rather than made redundant and he would be spending more time in the field and less on camera. Whatever I may think it's crucially important that high-profile shows like The Watches reflect diversity. Chris, Michaela and I are all white and middle class, so a more diverse team must present some of the films that go out," he told Radio Times at the time. It's hard for me, because it's my living, but the more I thought about it the more I thought no that's the right decision. It has to be like that, he added. Ultimately, the show will continue without him. But there'll always be a place for him on the nation's sofa as we all settle down for yet another series of Spring Watch.